Okay, we need frigates. We need ships. We know that they used frigates back in the War of 1812. So today, God bless you, we are going to be beginning, probably not finishing, but beginning building our frigate models based on the designs that you diagrammed out yesterday. Well, it was really fun and really just amazing to learn all about the masts, like how there's three, and then all the new names like the frigates and how the war was on a land battle and a sea battle. And I loved learning about how Oliver Hazard Perry, the don't give up the ship, and everything that has to do with that, really. So we have to paint our frigate components. I like the World 1812. It's just so amazing. And making a ship, it's it's amazing because it's just found with your like everyday, well, like not everyday materials, but like some of it. Like usually someone has paint at home, usually egg cartons and sticks. So it's pretty cool. Okay, got it. Because it's not like you're buying a ship at Walmart. You're actually making it yourself, and you get to decide what which egg carton you want to use, which paints you want to use, what colors, what you want on your flag, what type, what colors you want on the flag, and all that. It's not just you buy a ship at Walmart and whatever it is it is. Well, I think one of the things that I've learned most through this program is that what's most important about history is that you have to do history. You can read about it as much as you want, you can watch videos, but for the kids to actually be involved in recreating a battle reenactment, they love it. And they love everything down to the details of making frigates out of egg cartons to actually constructing a battle plan, which we'll do early next week. Um, having them be immersed in that part of it, talk about strategic problem solving that the Commodores and the captains of the ships had to go through translates to almost everything we do in school. The most important thing that we do during this is we talk about the importance of teamwork and the precisions that the teams on the ships had to work with in order to be successful and that's a great way to start the school year because that's what we're all about. Like it encourages you to actually like learn about it like you have something fun to do like a visual aid. Well Oliver Hazard Perry is a famous part of it. Um, after his ship was like disabled, he grabbed his sh he grabbed his flag, "Don't give up the ship," and he went over to the to the USS Niagara, Niagara and then that's how they won the Battle of 1812. I, I use tape for this. I mean, it makes me remember because I don't really remember things that much when it's just boring. Like I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but boring, and I don't. And it just, like, when it's fun, I think kids remember better because, like, they remember the times, like, what they did, hands on, so. It's amazing. She's just, I love doing crafts. I really love artwork. And so being able to do all of the different things that have to do with crafts and painting and art and having it also mixed in with um, history, just the War of 1812, it's really amazing. The buy-in is phenomenal and every time I start a lesson I start by reviewing and it amazes me with what they were able to take away just by putting um, a very multimedia focus on this lesson and I think that's the lesson I've learned as a teacher. Um, books are great, um, flat materials are great, but when you create an experience for the students that's really what they remember and comprehension is what it's all about. The name of my ship is the VES Golden Dragon. Um, it, the flag is, has a black background with a golden Chinese dragon. It's all yellow with black. I'm really good at drawing golden, uh, at drawing dragons, um, specifically Chinese ones. So I'm really lucky to be in Dr. V's class because we get to do all these cool things, so it's pretty fun. Who's second?